This is my Smith & Wesson M&P 9, 9mm. I recently got it back from Boresight Solutions where I sent it off to have it stippled. And I gotta say, Ben at Boresight Solutions did an amazing job on my pistol. At, words cannot describe how happy I am with the job he did. Uh, amazingly clean look, um, nice borders around to give it a, a nice like definite edge, um, perfect texture all over exactly what I wanted. If you take a little bit closer look here, there's different texture on uh, the center part that comes down through the middle here is a medium texture so it's not too harsh on your hands on the side of the gun on the front strap right here is a coarse texture as well as the back strap here is a coarse texture that kind of digs into your skin really good really helps if your hands are sweaty injured bloody you have mud dirt on your hands whatever this texture definitely helps retain uh, the pistol in your hand keeps it from slipping around a lot on you I had him stipple the front section up here of the frame flat. Just kind of a contact spot for the thumb of your support hand, since I am left handed. Your thumb would come in here and kind of help maintain like a little memory spot where it goes on there. If you look at the left side, I didn't have him put that spot up over there. Uh, kind of upon reflection, I would almost have him do it there if I had to send it off again. That way it was uniform on both sides here. If you look at the left side of the gun here, even the magazine release here is textured. The area around it isn't, so it kind of gives it a definite... Uh, contrast between stipple, smooth stipple, and then coarse again on here. Uh, the trigger guard up here is been cut a little bit higher, so it's a little bit better on your uh, middle finger coming up under here. This is smooth and kind of thinned out a little right in this section here with nice rounded edges. He did a really good job smoothing that out even puts a border under the bottom where most people wouldn't even look just to kinda give it a nice clean look there the bottom part here usually has a little lip that comes out that was cut off beveled down in there so uh, in use with a, uh, a magazine with a 10-8 base plate on it inserting it in there just kinda makes it more uniform the same spot and gives that kind of double bevel that kind of allows you to put your index finger in there and strip the mag if for whatever reason you, the magazine was stuck and uh, you couldn't just drop it out I also had him, this is the, the medium back strap which is the one I primarily shoot with on here so I had him do that one and I also sent the small back strap and to have it done just in case uh, I decide to go with it at some point or I'm shooting with some thick gloves on and I, I need a smaller back strap. Uh, the one I didn't have done was the large. A little too big for my hands and uh, I hardly ever use it. But if you kind of compare, the one on the right here is the coarse texture and the one on the left here is the factory texture so you can kind of see the difference between both of those there this one while it has some texture on it it's and it's a little rubberized it still gets slick especially if your hands get sweaty and the gun starts to move all around in you and you're constantly wiping your hands off trying to get the sweat off of them but with these it's a real kind of aggressive fit that doesn't slide around. And, uh, 
Again, I can't say enough about Ben at Boresight Solutions. He did an awesome job on this. I am extremely pleased with how it turned out. Uh, I spent a lot of time researching this. An ungodly amount of hours uh, researching different stippling from different com companies, uh, different textures they offer, different processes, techniques they do. And uh, it kind of all came back to Ben at Boresight Solutions. I had seen some posts on uh, 10.8 about it. Uh, what kind of really sealed the deal was uh, my friend Steve Fisher from Michigan Defensive Firearms Institute had uh, two M&Ps that were stippled at a Dave Harrington class, and I got a chance to handle them and play around with them a lot, and that kind of uh, sealed the deal. Actually being able to hold one, feel it, and see the texturing on there was... Uh, really really impressed me we called up Ben at Boresight talked to him a little bit about what we wanted to do uh, got some price quotes on stuff and uh, it was in the mail the next day takes a little bit of time to get it back I can't say it was a real rush job where you just send it off and you get it back a week later but uh, hey good quality work takes time uh, he's overwhelmed everybody out there is sending their stuff to him to have them done Glocks XD, Springfields, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Anything that's polymer, he can stipple it. Uh, does an amazing job on that. If anybody is in the market for any kind of stippling at all, any kind of backstrap work, slimming, anything like that, um, removing the beaver tail, if you don't want that, which I had done on this one also, um, any of that stuff, definitely give Bennett Boresight Solutions a call. Uh, they're... Uh, website is boresightsolutions.com The guys and gals of gunwebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching gunwebsites.com.